Welcome to Brit Lab. Today we're asking, are cold showers good for you? I'm one of these weird people who does occasionally have a cold shower. And there's some anecdotal evidence and some interesting science behind the idea that it might be doing me some good. There is only one problem. It's not very really nice! <sighs> so what's happening now is the nerves in my skin are detecting the cold water and I'm having a massive stress response. My heart rate's gone up, I'm flooded with adrenaline, and I feel very, very panicky and anxious. I'm breathing very, very hard. <gasps> Woo! Makes you feel alive, though. Sometimes this is the only way I ever feel anything. Taking a cold shower in the morning has long been seen as a healthy way to kickstart your day. Supposed health benefits include reducing depression and anxiety, improving circulation, boosting your immune system, burning fat, and increasing alertness. The first trials of using cold water immersion to treat depression have yet to be done. But the theory, the science behind it, goes something like this. Repeated exposure to cold water makes you better at dealing with that stress response, with all those chemical and hormonal changes that happen inside your body and make you feel so terrible. And it may be that in adapting to that cold water exposure, you also improve your body's ability to deal with the psychological stress that also accompanies anxiety and depression. Lots of athletes are advocates of ice water baths. The theory goes something like this. You plunge into ice water and it reduces the pain and speeds recovery from the small tears in your muscles that exercise gives you. I'd say the evidence about whether or not it works is at best mixed. Some studies show it improves recovery, whilst other studies show it can actually reduce muscle adaptation. But if you find it works for you, by all means crack on and get in the bath. Some studies suggest that cold showers may boost your immune system and even contribute to pain reduction, although there's no definitive evidence at the moment. One of the most popular beliefs surrounding cold water showering <laughs> is that it can turn unhealthy white fat into healthy, metabolically active brown fat, the kind of fat we use for shivering. Unfortunately, there's very little evidence that this is true. So what are the dangers? Well, on a domestic level, cold showers are pretty safe, unless you're older or you have a heart condition, in which case they might cause fainting or even a heart attack. If you're unlucky enough to fall into cold water, then that cold water shock response where you gasp and inhale water is what kills a lot of people, even when they're close to land. And that's why conditioning yourself with cold water swimming or cold water showers is really a useful thing to do. It reduces the gasping and it might just save your life. So research into the benefits of cold water showers or cold water swimming is still in its infancy, but personally I've been doing it for about six months and I feel great.